Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some basketball strategies that you can use as a coach to win more games. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. On this channel I talk to you about basketball plays, drills, and skills. Coming soon also is, uh, well May 5th is going to be twice a day videos plays and drills in the morning and individual skills in the afternoon so if you like that stuff hit that like button and subscribe but anyways today I'm going to talk to you about some strategies that you can use and you can implement to win more games so I was asked a, a couple of days ago basically some strategies on how to win more games and it really comes down to what type of team you have you can't just go out and say I'm going to run this offense I'm going to run this defense and this is what I'm going to do uh, with just any random team. You need to know, okay, is your team quick? Is your team slow? Uh, does your team understand offensive strategies? Things like that. So, if you have a quick team who can shoot a lot of shots and who can grab a lot of rebounds, the run and gun offense might be for you. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And tomorrow is going to be talking about how you can slow a game down. And there's different reasons why you would want to do both. Now, in a playoff game, you want, might want to slow the game down so that now you can be more meticulous about the type of plays that you're running, make sure that every shot counts, things like that. Meanwhile, a run and gun offense is more, known, more widely known for basically 5 or 10 second offenses that are going to get you a quick shot so that you can grab an offensive rebound if you miss, and then you can put it back up. So let me run you through some run and gun basketball plays down on our clipboard and I'll show you what I mean. So the first run and gun offense that you can run is something very simple. Something where we have player four setting a screen for player one and then we would have player three possibly setting a screen for player two and then what we would have is player one using that screen, player two using that screen and player four possibly rolling off or we could have player one driving with player four popping. Now if that was to happen he could go in for a layup. We would have player five also crashing the towards the rim, possibly open for a layup or getting a rebound. Or player one could pass out to player four, two, or three for a three-point shot. If he passes to three or four for a three-point shot, two needs to go and crash the boards as well. So this is a type of offense that you're going to be running very quick, needing to grab the offensive rebound if you miss. And this is really good if you have a lot of good three-point shooters or if you have a lot of good rebounding players. Another type of run and gun offense is having player one pass over to player two, player five setting a back screen on player one who's then going to cut towards the rim and get an easy layup. Now because we have all uh, got that lay, or if we're going in for a layup, there's not going to be too many rebounders, but we could also have player three crashing the boards on the opposite side to grab that rebound in case player one misses. Another type of run and gun offensive play is having player four come up, set a screen on player one. Player three will then dig deep into that low corner. Player one will then use player four as a screen and roll, and this could be a nice easy layup. Now, a lot of players or a lot of teams will run a run and gun offense, but they might not have quick enough players or they might not be running it the whole game. If you're running a, having a run and gun offense, you're going to definitely want to run it all game. Now, you need to have really athletic players to run this type of offense. And you need to have players who know how to pass and get offensive rebounds. Now, the reason why you would run a run and gun offense is if you're quicker than the uh, other team. Or, of course, if you just like to run uh, all game anyways. But the idea behind it is to tire out your opponent. So that now they cannot be running in the third and fourth quarter because they're going to be too tired. So this is why you would run a run and gun offense. Now, again, like I was saying, not every offense is good for every single team. So make sure that you know that this, this type of offense will work with your team. And if it does then you're all set. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about slowing down an offense and I'm going to be giving you some strategies and plays on what you can do to slow down your offense and slow down the game so that now you can be more meticulous and make sure that every shot counts. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video. I hope that this video has helped.